loves welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my 2023 fountain pen collection i started collecting fountain pens in april of 2022 and within a little over a year this is what i now have what you're seeing right now is where i store my fountain pens and also this is my currently inked little pouch and then i do have a few pens in this esterbrook pen case as well but majority of my pens are stored in this glass case right here everything will be listed in the info box down below i'll try to link everything um, these are from amazon and then the little pen insert trays are from a different website i forget what it's called but like I said, everything will be listed and linked in the info box down below. So yeah, I'm really excited to share with you my 2023 fountain pen collection. I have totally loved this entire fountain pen journey of mine. I've learned a lot and also made friends along the way. I love this hobby and I honestly don't really see myself... Um, stopping anytime soon i guess you would say i think i'm gonna be a forever collector at this point currently i'm trying to really streamline my collection to it being really what i truly love and i want kind of like a cohesion with all the colors i started out that way but you know when you see pens it's like i want every single color and I feel like my collection has kind of gotten out of hand with the color scheme and everything so I'm really just trying to streamline my current collection and I'm really excited to see how that goes in 2024. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to be sharing with you every single pen I will go in order on when I acquired the pen and also kind of like why I got the pens as well. Um, tell you little things about them if I like them if I use them a lot things like that also I'm gonna mention to you which pens I will be selling like I said I'm trying to streamline is that even the word streamline downsize my collection I just not really downsize I don't mind having all of this I just really want it to look better than what it is though if that makes sense i feel like some of these is like it shouldn't be here like it doesn't belong so i think streamline is the word i'm looking for anyways with that in mind i will also be sharing with you the pens that i am planning on letting go um everything will be in a blog sale on my website so yeah just check out the description box and anyways without further ado let's get started i have a feeling this is going to be a long video so grab a snack a drink something and yeah let's get started all right so my very first fountain pen is actually in this drawer right here it's my caveco sport so i started with this guy um i did have a kakuno fountain pen before this but it was like one of those things that i just got just because and i wasn't really even trying to get into fountain pens and I honestly I didn't really like the nib on that it was just way too thick for me and I think the ink that I used with it too was way too wet so it just didn't work out for me and then like a year later I decided okay let me try this fountain pen thing again and this is the first thing that I got this is the Caveco Sport the sports line or the skyline collection I believe this is the color macchiato and I use this a ton. Like, if you look at this, it's so scratched up, but it's okay. It's showing, you know, love and wear. <laughs> um, but I have this in an extra fine. And this is really what made me fall in love with fountain pens. It made me really wanted to try, you know, different kinds. So for a while there, I was... In this thing where I was like, oh my god, there's so many different colors of these Caveco Sports and they're super, super cute. So I collected a lot of them. I did get rid of a lot. Um, so yeah, this is all that I have, but I am planning on selling some of these off because I think I barely, I didn't even use some of them. So yeah, anyways, this is my Caveco in Macchiato. My second fountain pen is actually 
another Caveco and it is in the color dark olive. I really love this one. If I can only have one Caveco from this collection, this, this is it. I really love this. For some reason, this is smoother than my Caveco, or than my Macchiato one, sorry. But this is the dark olive. This is from the Caveco collection line. So with this one, I decided to get this like nostalgia, I think that's what it's called, um, clip because it's a collection one. So it's a little bit more special and I love the gold finials on this. Love it. So yeah, I use this one a lot too. So definitely a favorite. Okay, my third fountain pen is actually the Caveco Student in the color 20s Jazz. I really like this, but I haven't used it in a very long time too. I don't know, like I haven't been wanting to use any of my Caveco fountain pens, but this is a gorgeous pen. I love this and it's like, you know, coffee, chocolate. And I think like at this at the time that I got this, I was very much into like teddy bears and all that. So that's kind of why I got it. It's just so cute. I love this. So I'm very iffy if I want to get rid of this or not. I think I might keep it <laughs> because out of all my collection, I think this and One Sailor is kind of like the only thing that kind of resembles coffee, if that makes sense. So anyways, this is the Caveco Student Fountain Pen in the color 20s Jazz. And I have it in an extra fine nib. As you can see, I have I have a thing for extra fine. A lot of my fountain pens are extra fine or fine or medium fine. I don't think I have anything medium. I think I, maybe I do, but I don't use it at all. So yeah. Okay. Next are more Cavecos. I got the Iridescent Caveco and also the Lavender Caveco. And they're very, very pretty. I used this one like once and this one I've never used. So yeah, this one is with an extra fine nib and this one is with extra fine. Everything is extra fine. And you know what's nice about these Cavecos um, is that you can actually buy a nib separately and you can easily pop these out and put a new nib in. So yeah, it's really nice and they offer a ton of different kinds of nib sizes. So they're very good and versatile, you know, really like them. It's just, yeah, I never used these, but I did, as you can see, I put in um, the new or the nicer clips on this because they are both from the Caveco collection line. So they're more like the limited edition ones. After all of the Caveco craziness, I decided to get the Twisby. This just came out um, that year and I decided I'm gonna get it. And it wasn't a bad price and I actually really love this pen. This is a pen that I always have inked and I always put a shimmer ink in it. It just works so well in this pen and it's crazy because this is an extra fine. So this is the Twisby. 580 diamond rose gold in white with an extra fine nib and yes right now i have a shimmery ink in it i swear this never clogs up i love this pen so much and it's really the only pen that i am super comfortable in putting a shimmery ink in so yeah i love this pen highly recommend this twisby so there you have it that is my twisby 580 diamond I love next I got the Lamy in the color cream and I actually have my Lamy in this little pen case because I am getting rid of it so I kind of um, have them put away so this is an Esther Brooke pen case I forget how many goes in here I think 24 in this thing so this is the Lamy Safari in the color cream. I really tried to like this um, because I, I heard so many good things about it and I love the color. I love the matte finish. It came with a converter and everything. I really, really wanted to love it and I got it in an extra fine nib. It's just, I don't love it. It's just too thick for my liking. I tried different inks in it. It just didn't work out. So this is the Lamy Safari in the color cream. The limited edition one. It's so pretty. 
I love this, but yeah, it just doesn't work. So, well, it doesn't work for me is what I mean. So there you go. That's going to be in my to sell pile. Okay, after that, I got more Cavecos, which I no longer have. Like I said earlier, I got rid of a lot or I sold them off um, because I wasn't using them. Um, and then after that, I really wanted the Salami. So this one released a few years back or something, so I hunted it down on eBay and I found it. This is the Powder Rose. I believe it's so cute, but you can see... This one is a glossy finish compared to the cream. So this is glossy and this is matte. And yeah, these are both going to be sold. This does come with a converter. It's just not in there right now. And also, um, this is in an extra fine nib. I think I used this one just as much as this, like once or twice. And I just, it just didn't work out for me. So yeah, anyways. Those are my two Lamies, and I'm saying goodbye to them. They're super cute, though. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Right. Next, I got my Le Bon. Oh, my goodness. This pen is gorgeous. I still think it is one of the prettiest pens ever. This is the Le Bon. I think it's called 325, and this is in the color Sakura. Like, come on. Look at that. I use this every year during um, springtime, cherry blossom season. It's a stunning pen. I love this so much. Just the details. Like, do you see that? Come on. It's stunning. This is a gorgeous pen. And yes, I have an extra fine. Love this nib too. It's a very fine nib. It's like how it writes. I want to say like the thickness is... Pretty much the same as a Caveco Extra Fine. So, yeah. I really like it. Very good writer. Like I said, I use this one every year around springtime. It's just, it's a perfect cute pen. And it's it's big. But when you take the cap off, it's honestly the perfect size. So, I feel like the cap just makes it look bigger. But, see? If it's perfectly, it's a comfortable writer. I love this. I highly recommend it. Um, I might get another one. I don't know which color because they do have different kinds of colors um, for this. I think there's even like a beige or a yellow, a blue, a green. Like there's so many different kinds. I really love this one though. This one was like, yep, this is, this is me. I love this pen. Must have it. And I got it for such a good deal too at the time. Um, I think I paid around... $90 and then I had a coupon or something. I don't know. It was a good deal when I got this. I mean mine's a little bit scratched up though, but that's okay It just means I use it, you know, so anyways, that's that one Okay What's next on the list? Next is my very first sailor. Oh my goodness. So You know I started with a Caveco and I'm like, all right, maybe it's time to get a gold nib. I've been hearing a lot about gold nibs and I honestly, I, you know, at first I'm like, wow, this is so expensive. And then I saw this one on sale and that's what made me buy it. I think I purchased this for about like just around $90 with tax and all. Um, I really do love this pen, but I think I'm going to let it go because I do have another um, green pen that I want to keep. So I think this is something I might let go. I don't know. I'm so torn, you guys, because this is such a gorgeous pen, but I feel like it's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. We'll see if I sell it or not, but this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim dragon palace so it's a beautiful beautiful green and it has this beautiful shimmer to the body and this is with an x not extra fine a medium fine yeah hard medium fine and this is such a good writer so i got this pen and shortly after i got another one from the same collection because this is one of those shikiori lines by sailor so there's four different colors and i 
got this one after, which is Graceful Crane. And when compared to the green, writes so much smoother for some reason. So I don't know, I might have to, I don't know, do something with this one. But I mean, if it writes fine, but I do notice that the green one is much smoother when I write with it. They are both medium fines. This one doesn't have the H, it just says MF. Um, this green one has the H, so that means hard, medium, fine, I think. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. These pens are gorgeous though. Again, they're from the same collection by Sailor. So pretty. And they, they both have like just that subtle shimmer. I don't even know if the camera is going to pick it up, but the colors are beautiful. Um, I do for sure want to keep the blue because I don't have any blues and I love this like baby blue color. It's so pretty to me. So I'm keeping that for sure. I'm very iffy about this one. Okay. Next on the list is my other Laban. This is the Laban Rosa in the color Lilac. So I got this one... I think summer of 2022 when I went to Chicago and I visited Atlas Stationaires and that was such a special trip for me I guess you would say because I was with my mom and my sister and it was like a girl's trip we've never done that before and yeah I was able to browse Atlas Stationaires and I picked this up I think this is so beautiful I was gonna sell this one but i'm thinking i'm just gonna send it to a to someone um i'm thinking pel was it pen realm um kirk i think is his name um i'm thinking of sending it to him to make it into an extra fine because when i bought this um it was actually a fine nib and they said in the store um that they can grind it down for me to an extra fine and it's not quite there yet. Um, if I compare this nib to my other Laban, this is way thicker. And I want more of an extra fine. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. Hopefully I can get it um grind down or something by somebody to make it into an extra fine because it is such a gorgeous pen and I really love it and you know it's a very sentimental pen to me and yeah I, I really love how this looks and it reminds me of the trip of my garden um 2022 is also when i started full-on gardening i guess you would say so it just kind of holds a lot of sentimental value to me so that's the laban rosa in the color lilac it's so pretty look at that i love it all right next we have this pen which i am planning on selling um this is a pro gear slim and this is a special collection called earth it is this really beautiful like chocolatey brown for some reason i wanted a pen that was like professional do i ever need it no <laughs> um i did use this um quite a bit especially in the fall time it's a gorgeous gorgeous pen it is a hard medium fine nib um yeah nothing really wrong with this it's just when i look at my collection i really want more so like lighter colors you know like oh you know i just want to streamline my collection so this pen will be for sale if you're interested it is a gorgeous pen it's just you know something that i feel like doesn't fit my collection as well as i hoped when i purchased it um but yeah gorgeous pen okay next next i got the sailor pro gear slim in the color momo oh my goodness i love this this pen it's almost the perfect pink it's like a pink pink you know what i mean i love more of like a blush pink um that's still like a goal of mine is to get a blush pink sailor but 
this is a beautiful pink. I love this pink so much too. So this is definitely staying in my collection. The color Momo. I forget what nib this is. Fine nib. And I love a fine nib on a sailor too. Just as much as a medium fine. So there you have it. This is a gorgeous pen. I love this one so much. I ink this up every spring as well with the along with the Laban. This is something that I use quite often. I love it. Such a gorgeous color. So there's that. I did get a Caveco around the same time that I got the Earth and the Momo because it released and it was gifted to me as a present. Um, so this is the Mellow Blue. It was released that end of the summer. And yeah, Caveco Collection. This is in an extra fine nib. I never used this. So this is like new. Um, yeah, I just, all I did is put on the clip and put it in my collection. But yeah, I was never able to use this one. I just never reached for it. I thought I would love the color more, but... Mm, it's all right. It's pretty, but it's not like the blue that I want. Like I really love this this kind of blue. You know what I mean? Like a lighter, babyish blue. This one is more that dusty blue. I don't know. I just never reached for it. It just never matched any of the things that I had. And yeah, so I will be selling this little cute caveco. All right. Oh my goodness. Next we have another sailor. I feel like. I have so many sailors and you know what's funny is sailor is not even really my favorite like it's my number three like my number one is platinum and then my number two is decimo and then my number three is a sailor but i have a lot of sailors <laughs> um anyways i got this one oh my gosh this is the sailor i think the 1911 is what the, this is called like the shape and this is the minori it's stunning. I love this pen. I bought it because it's just, I felt like it was so different from what I've been seeing. Also, I got a good deal on it. Also, like, come on. You know, it has the blues and the greens. Like, see, this is the blue that I like. See? See that? It's like so pretty. I don't know. I really, really like this. Um, and the cap, the finials, the glitter, this is such a beautiful pen. I did a whole video on this. This is with a medium fine nib. And yeah, I love this. I ink this up pretty much every year I use this since I got it. It's a gorgeous pen. I love this so much. If you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend. It's so pretty. I feel like, you know, if someone was to tell me, like, it's a blue and a green um, color combo, I'd be like, ew, what? But like when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's actually really pretty. And then the longer that I looked at it, I'm like, yep, I want that pen. It's stunning. So there you have it. That is my Sailor Minori fountain pen. Medium fine nib. Okay. Whew. I feel like we're taking forever. All right. Next, I have my very first platinum. I received my very first platinum. So this is my platinum 3776 century in the color sen I don't know how to say it, but it's the white with the gold trim. This pen, you guys, oh my gosh, when I got this, I just you knew it's just my favorite. I love how my handwriting looks in this. My handwriting looks I mean, they're right small already, but for some reason, with this pen and the Decimo Extra Fine, my handwriting is super, super tiny. I love it, though. Like, it looks so good. So, I actually do have this ink right now, and I, I have done many videos with this, I feel like, because I use it all the time, I feel like. But yeah, this is that pen, and it's just so beautiful, and I love, love the nib on the Platinums. Like, that cute heart shape cutout so stunning and i just think this is a gorgeous white pen um at the time too i was looking for a white pen that wasn't in your face 
Um, I love how this is more so like an ivory. It's not a white white color if that makes sense. I got the Caveco white pen. Um, Caveco Sport in white and that one's a really stark white pen. This is more so an ivory and it doesn't look like an eyesore when placed next to pretty much any colors like I love this pen. I highly recommend it. It's such a good writer and not to mention the size is perfect. I mean the sailor is good but I don't know. There's something about the size of this. It's a little bit bigger I feel like but it's also just perfect. I don't know. I really love writing with platinums. I find them very comfortable. Definitely my number one favorite. Ugh, I just... I do really love this pen. Like, if I can only have one, I would pick a platinum. Okay, so that's that one. Again, I currently have that inked right now. Um, all right, next I have the Sailor Cherry Blossom, and it is this one right here. This I purchased on Amazon. It was only $45, very inexpensive. This is not a gold nib. It's a steel nib. That's why it is rather, you know, cheaper, but it's the Shikiyori line. This also comes in four different colors, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the cherry or the night, night cherry blossom one. I'm not sure, um, but it's so pretty. I love this pen. I think this is the only time that it's not inked. <laughs> I usually have this one inked because this is a fine nib and it writes so well. For something that's not a gold nib, I love this. So yeah, there you have it. Isn't this so pretty too? Like, come on. This is so pretty. For $45, you can't go wrong. Highly recommend to have different colors. Such a good writer. So that's that one. And I love that shape. It's so pretty. Okay, after that, I actually got the Bennu. I sold the Bennu already. And then after that, I got the Pilot Decimo in Champagne, which I've sold. And okay, next I have the Esterbrook JR Pumpkin Latte. And it's actually this pen. I really love this pen and I wanted it for the longest time. It was in my wish list. And I finally got it. And you know what's sad is I never really used it as much as I thought that I would. Like, it's so sad because I thought I would use it more, but I just never really reached for it. And I think it's because it's such an overall darker colored pen. I mean, when you rotate it, you can see all the beautiful, like, you know, when you're swirling a pumpkin latte, like you're the cream in the latte. That's what it reminds me of. It's so beautiful, right? But I feel like... I can just never really capture that in a photo. I can capture it in a video, but not in a photo. And it just never really, I don't know. I just never really wanted to ever use it. So I will be selling this one. It is in extra fine. It's a beautiful writer. It was, I remember it being very, very smooth. Um, but yeah, I just never really reached for it. But like, my goodness, you see that? Oh, now I'm like contemplating because it's so pretty. But yeah, that is the JR by Esther Brooke in Pumpkin Latte. It's so pretty. And I don't think you can even purchase this anymore. Next, I have my white Decimo. This is Pearl White. I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... I love this pen. I ink this up every year. It's so good. Such a good writer. I have it in Extra Fine. I love extra fines. I had the champagne, which I sold. That one's with a fine nib. And then I got this and I'm like, yep, I like the extra fine so much more. So yeah, this is the Pilot Decimo with an extra fine nib. I love, love, love. Highly recommend the smoothest writer, even smoother than the Platinum. But I love that feedback. That's why I like the Platinum more. But this one is so, so, so smooth. And again, my handwriting in this, I feel like it's awesome because it's so small. <laughs> I love this. Love this pen so much and it's so convenient with the click. You'll never lose a cap. Like, it's amazing. And yeah, so there you go. That is my Pilot Decimo in the Pearl White.
Okay, and the last pen that I actually got in 2022 is the Caveco Sport in the color Sage. I was excited when they said Sage. And then I got this and I'm like, mm, it's alright. It's definitely more so a cooler tone Sage. I was hoping it would be... Is this a good example? I don't even know. But here, hold on. <laughs> no, that's like almost... No, yeah. I was hoping more like this. Like a warm tone, lighter sage, if that makes sense. This is more so like a bluish sage to me. I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. By the way, this is Coco from Animal Crossing, if you're wondering. Um, my favorite. And this one's Maple. I gotta put them back on the little thing. <laughs> That one's maple. Okay. Oh, and my spoon from Hobonichi. Okay. But yeah, I got this for Christmas. And I got the clip on it as well. And this is in, of course, you guessed it, extra fine. I actually tried to use this. Um, and I just never... Oh, it's inked! <laughs> what happened? There's ink in here! <laughs> I tried to use it with this ink. I didn't like it and I guess I just decided I didn't like it and I put it away. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this out and I'm gonna sell this. I just... I don't know. I just... It's just not my color. It's not the sage that I was hoping for. Um, but I'm sure, you know, it writes fine. <laughs> I didn't know it was inked. Wow, how long has that been in there? Um, I think since I don't even know. I don't know. So this is with an extra fine nib. Oh, I inked this up last um, like August. Wow, it's been there for a while. Okay, I'm gonna have to really flush that out. But yeah, I'll be selling that cup I go. All right, going into 2023, my very first pen acquisition <laughs> is this guy. I found this on eBay. This is a 2019 release in Japan. This is the Pilot Decimo, obviously, <laughs> in the metallic pink. This is with an extra fine nib. It took me a very long time to find an extra fine nib. My goodness. But I did it. And I love this pen. And it was actually, surprisingly, a very good deal for what I paid for this. Versus to, I don't know, like I looked it up long ago and it was so expensive, but I found a seller and it was weird because I remember like in the messages, he's like, okay, I'm going to go get it at the store. Which nib do you want? And I was like, what? So yeah, this was brand new. He went to the store for me, got it and shipped it to me for not even, it was a very good deal. I don't want to say half the price of what people are selling it for but pretty dang close i got it for such a great deal he was very very nice and i think he even had um a few other colors that were that i, I could have picked from but of course i got the pink um but yeah this is such a beautiful pen i love this pen i think this up all the time every year for spring it's stunning i love this pen so much i love it I just want my all my pens to be pink, not gonna lie. Like, I can't wait to just really, I guess, like, downsize to just my favorite colors. Okay, after that, I found Winter Rain by Sailor. This is my first and only 21K nib pen, and I love this pen my gosh this pen is gorgeous so this is with a medium fine nib and you know what's funny i put a shimmer ink in here because i got purple jade rabbit rabbit ink um by ferris will press and it just went so well with the colors oh it was awesome and yeah i love it so much and now every time i try to ink it i don't have any inks that can compare and i just want to keep putting that same ink in it i don't know Anyways, I haven't used it in a while. It is a beautiful, beautiful pen. I love the colors. I love the finials. It's just stunning. I love this. It's not 
um, like an in-your-face purple, you know what I mean? Like, it's so cute. It's so pretty. I love, love, love this. So there you go. That is the Sailor Chikuri Amaoto, which is Winter Rain 21K pen. It's not a Pro Gear. It's a Pro Gear Slim, by the way. But yeah, 21K because you can tell here. So it has like the dual tone nib. Again, medium fine. It's so pretty. My gosh. Next, I got... Finally, I've been wanting this pen for a very long time and I finally found it on eBay. eBay gets me every time. I found someone selling this on eBay and I bought it. This is my one and only secondhand pen. And when I tell you I was nervous, I was nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, what if it was really bad and all that, but... The seller came through and it's in perfect condition as listed. Oh my gosh. Every time I pull this pen out, I get compliments. It's a stunning pen. Like the color is gorgeous. White with the extra like super light pink. Oh my gosh. And then like look at the cherry blossom and the nib is medium fine, hard medium fine. And like there's a, do you see the cherry blossom? on the nib. It's freaking cute. So cute. So there you have it. That is my one and only Pro Gear Slim Mini. I'm hoping to get another one, but I haven't seen one that I like must have. I just, I don't think you can top this one. This is like so cute to me. Like this is the perfect pen. Um, I feel like my perfect pens are always like a white and a pink like this. So I don't know. It'll be very, very hard to find something comparable <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, hoping I can find another Pro Gear Slim Mini in the future, but so far I haven't seen any yet, but this is so pretty. Next, I got... <gasps> oh my gosh! Dun -dun -dun -dun! My second Platinum. So, I really love my white Platinum, and I had this one on my wish list for forever. But I didn't want to purchase it because it's so expensive. So this is the Celluloid Platinum in the color Sakura. And they're very, very expensive. But I found it on eBay. Such a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. I think the seller has it still, but a little bit pricier. Not by much. Not like before. Um, but definitely not as much as I paid. You know what I mean? Like, I... I got like a good deal on it at the time and I feel like it's gotten popular again so they raised the price I don't know anyways <sighs> I saw the price and I bought it and it's so beautiful so this one's with a fine nib so not an extra fine a fine and I really must oh I was like why is there ink on the nib oh I remember I dipped this pen to compare with my new pen so that's why that's not super clean but look at this nib like come on isn't that beautiful the detail on this pen the color it's perfect i love this so yeah mm. i just i love pink so much this kind of pink like a blushy pink it's perfect i love this i love platinum so yeah this is my second platinum and I was very, very happy when I got this. I still am. I love this. This pen, whenever I look, I'm like, yes, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, next I got my Esther Brooke. This is my very first SD. This is the Botanical Garden. It's beautiful. I love all the colors. And this actually came with a medium nib. But I changed it out to an extra fine flex nib. So that's what's on there right now. I will be selling this pen because it just doesn't fit the collection that I'm trying to create. Um, also, I'm not too fond of the extra fine flex or the medium nib, so I will be selling all of that as like a bundle, you know what I mean? So yeah, this will be listed on my blog sale as well, but like isn't it just so pretty? Look at all the colors. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> All right, more sailors, you guys. I got the Sailor 
Cult Pens exclusive, which is Midday Sun. And I got this because of the color. Obviously, it reminds me of summer. Also, this yellow, I think it's like, what was it? Also, this yellow is, I believe it's Tom's color, like his birthstone or something like that. I don't quite remember. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's like his birthstone. I wanted, oh, okay, this is, this is what was happening. I wanted the Pro Gear Slim Mini because this is the April Pro Gear Slim pen. There's other months for this. And the November month is a yellow because that's the birthstone color, um, a topaz. And I honestly, I didn't want another medium fine at the time. I was like, mm, no. So I was looking for a yellow pen that would remind me of my husband. So there you go. That it came back to me. So that's why I got this pen. And I love this. So this is my very first extra fine sailor pen yeah look at that nib it's so tiny look at the point so yeah this is an extra fine nib i used it a ton over the summer it was amazing so yeah i really like this one too it's such a gorgeous color like it's like a pastel -y yellow i was scared when i first bought it if it would be like more like really bright neon but no it's like a beautiful pastel yellow so i really like that one again that's the sailor cult pens exclusive midday sun next i got the pilot elite this is i think 95 s something like that and i got it in an extra fine nib and i'm gonna be selling this one because i mean it's a nice pen it's very very smooth um gorgeous pen but again it just doesn't really fit into what i'm trying to make my collection to be um i and i barely used it so i will be selling this one off again this is with an extra fine nib and this is what it looks like it's a gorgeous like pocket pen it's really nice it's just i never really reach for it so there you go that's the pilot elite Okay, after that, I got another pilot. I wanted to try a different kind. <clears throat> so I actually purchased this at the Chicago Pen Show. And I'm very iffy about it because it's very toothy, I feel like. So this is the Pilot Custom 74 in the color Benny Fuji. And it's a 14K nib. And this is with an extra fine nib. My issue with this is it's very toothy. It's super, super fine. I wish it was a little bit smoother. So this I might have to send to somebody to make smoother for me. Because yeah, it's just so not. I don't know. Um, also, that could be my fault because I did put Lady Rose in this pen. And that's a dry ink so i don't know maybe i'll try it with a wetter ink first and see how that goes but isn't this so beautiful oh my gosh it's a beautiful pen i love this color i love these kinds of purples i think it's really pretty it's like a mauvey purple it's so pretty so that's that one i really do like this Plus, I had a lot of fun at that Chicago pen show. Um, I had my husband and my son with me, and they, they both were like, I don't understand this, but okay. I had a lot, a lot of fun, and that entire weekend was actually super fun. So, you know, this has kind of like a sentimental value to me. Um, that was a fun weekend. So, that's that one. So, next are these beauties right here. This is from the Sailor Solar Term Collection. I got three out of the four from that line and let me tell you i love them but i'm not in love with them which is so sad because i i think i pre-ordered these and i waited like a month or two and then they arrived and i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited but i'm not like super in love with them if that makes sense so 
when I bought these, I thought this one would be my favorite, which is the color Fuki. But now that I have all of them, and I've been looking at them for like half a year now, <laughs> this is my favorite. This one is Taco. I actually use this, and I love it. So all of these are with a fine nib, and I love a Sailor fine nib. Um, but yeah, this color just speaks more to me. I really love this color. I didn't think I would like it as much because I felt like the photos looked more red, like a red red. But in real life, this is like a strawberry, like a strawberry pinky red. And it's just so pretty. And I love the light pink finials. It makes me so happy. So this is definitely a favorite out of all of this. Um, this is totally staying in my collection. And then we have here Fuki and Hagi. And I'm still a little bit iffy if I'm selling Fuki, but I'm for sure going to be selling Hagi. And they are both with a fine nib. And I actually haven't even inked Hagi yet. So this is like pretty much brand new. Like it's just been sitting in storage. Um, this one I inked one time. And yeah, I really thought I would be in love with this one, but I'm just not. And I, it's sad because I don't even think I would reach for it because it's, I mean, it's a beautiful green, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm so torn in deciding if I want to sell it or not. So I think I'll keep this for now, but definitely selling Hoggy. And by the way, this is what the finials look like on these. So cute, right? Yeah. But yeah, this one, I was hoping, I guess, for it to be more like Momo, but it's not. It's leaning more purple to me. See that? See? It's just, it doesn't belong. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, I got my Peniter. My goodness, I've had this one in like a wish list for a while and I finally got it. I was so happy. It's a very expensive pen. I think I didn't buy anything for like a month and a half and then I went ham and I got this one. And I was very excited about it, hoping, you know, I would use it a lot because it is my one and only kind of like that quill flexy nib. and. I didn't use it. I was so sad. Like, thinking about it, I'm like, I really, really wanted to love this. I really, really wanted to use it and, like, practice my, maybe my calligraphy or something, but it never happened. And I never really found myself reaching for it or even really wanting to do it. So I think I'm just gonna rehome this one as well. But yeah, this is, I think, to be honest with you, my most expensive pen in my collection. I paid $400 for this. Like, I think it was $438 plus tax and shipping. So, it was it was a lot. Um, so, this is the Peniter Avatar Deluxe Angel Skin 14K Extra Fine Quill Nib. Yeah, this is my most expensive pen at the moment in my collection. But I'm going to let it go because I just never used it which again makes me really sad because look at how beautiful this pen is the detail on this is so pretty like it's so good it's so fancy and i love that it's magnetic like that like that's so pretty it even came with a super fancy box which i still have so oh and then this this clip like that's amazing i just everything about this is so great I just never used it. It came with everything. Yeah, the knit, I mean, the converter is not in here, but it's in the box. So anyways, this will be sold in my blog sale as well. It's a gorgeous pen. I even like personally picked out this color because, you know, it comes in different kinds of resins and I really wanted something that was like more like light pink. And yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. So there you go. That's my Peniter. Most expensive pen in here. <laughs> I think so, at least. Okay. Next, I got the other Esther Brooke JR. This is Purple Paradise. 
I never use this. It's just not my color. It's so pretty though. I thought I would use it summertime because, you know, it kind of reminded me of like, um, I don't know, summer drinks or something. And it's so fun, like the bright colors. But yeah, I just never used it. So this is actually super new. <laughs> I never inked it, never used it. Extra fine nib. There you go. That is Purple Paradise by Esther Brooke JR. Okay, next I decided I wanted to try the Ferris Wheel Press. Um, what are these called? The Pen Brush Pen or Fountain Pens. I have Majestic Maple. I love this one. I love the color of this. So I think this is something I'm going to keep. I have this with a fine nib. I need to play around with this some more. I loved it and then I went back to it and I hated it. So I was like, okay, maybe I just need two instead of four. And then, yeah, anyways, I have it in white. I also have it in the Lady Rose color and also the Lord Evergreen. And I think these are in fine, yeah, fine nibs. Look at this. The detail on them is beautiful. So all of them have this detail. I did a whole video on these, so if you want to see that, um, definitely check it out. But yeah, I have these in fines, and then this one's a medium. So I think I'm going to keep these two and sell these two because I don't need all four. Or maybe I'll keep these two. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm only going to keep one of these guys. I'm keeping this one for sure. I love this beige color. But yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to keep on this from these three. But two will be sold as well in a block sale. Next, I got this pen for my birthday. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. And I tried my hardest to resist this pen because it was so expensive. And then my friend was like, girl, it's on sale. And I was like, no, I don't need it. And then I looked anyways, and it was sold out. So I was like, no, see, it's not meant to be. It's just not. And then like the next day, I went back in stock. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Line Friends Edition in the color brown. Oh my gosh. Like... Look at that face. It's so cute. I got this in the fine nib. That's the nib that I wanted. Again, it was sold out at first. And then it came back in stock and I was like, it's meant to be. I was meant to have it. So there you have it. Uh, one of the cutest pens I own. I love this. Um, so yeah, when I got this, I realized, okay, I now don't need this other brown one because I prefer this brown, obviously. Um, so yeah, this one I will be selling. So anyways, love this pen. I use this so much and it writes so smoothly. It's a very good writer that has such a good nib on it. Okay. Next, I was very, very good. And I didn't really buy any fountain pens. I was like, wow, one pen a month? Okay. So, <laughs> I actually purchased this one. And I feel like this is such a good value. Um, this comes with an ink. And it was $60. When I purchased this, I actually also purchased um, this one. This one I currently have inked right now. Um, so, this is called Cojito. And it's a really cute like bread themed pen and then this one is called your soy and this one has like a cute little girl with coat on and flowers on it so there you go i got these or i ordered them at the same time so i guess yeah <laughs> but they both come with inks such a good deal 60 dollars each uh ordered mine off of pen sashi and yeah i love it they're so cute you guys they're both with an extra fine nib as well. I did a video on these, so I will link them for you down below. But yeah, they're, it's not gold or anything, but such good writers. So these are called the Sailor Prophet Juniors, and it's the Mizutama collaboration. I just had to get these two colors. They're so pretty. Almost towards the end, you guys. I feel like this is such a long video, but 
if you are still here following along and how and why I got these pens. You're amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we're almost done. Okay, next, I was very, very good. That's all that I did. And then for Fountain Pen Day, and also I think it was Black Friday, I only bought one other pen and it was the Esther Brook. Oh, it's not even in here. Oh no. Let me actually go get it because the nib is not in here. I actually flushed it out just a few days ago. So I got this Esther Brook SD. This is the tortoise and I got it with the gold trim, of course. Like, look at this. I love this. This is staying in my collection. It's such like a classic pen, I feel like. It's so pretty. And I got it with a needle point by Kirkspear. My gosh, this is the nib because I have tried their fine. Their extra fine is okay, but oh my gosh, this one, perfect. So good. So I really am so very happy with this purchase. I also got it for such a good deal. Um, so yeah, I love this pen. Excited about this SD. And then I was actually gifted this one for being one of their ambassadors. This is the SD in the color Aqua Gold. And this is with a fine nib. Oh, extra fine nib. Oh, wow. I have yet to ink this one and try it out. So I'm very excited about that. But yeah. Oh, so pretty, right? Yeah, I can't wait to try to use this. I plan on using this like in the summertime or something because, you know, the color. Look at that. And it's so pretty. I love it. All right, two pens left, guys. This is the Twisby Eco in the color Kareem. And I just actually flushed this out. I have to do a better job. But I really love this pen. Um, it's actually very, very good. Uh, you know, just like my other one, it performed very well. Um, this is with an extra fine nib, and I really loved it. It was so nice and smooth. I had... Moroccan mint tea by sailor in this and it was stunning like I Loved it so much. I used it pretty much like the last two weeks of December in my journals like Such a good pair. So yeah That's what was in here for the holiday season. And I really do like this color. I was a little bit Sad that it's I don't know just the photos look more pink to me and it's not it's definitely more so like a yellow yellowy cream um, But it's still a really pretty pen and I do love the rose gold on it So there you go. That's my other Twisby. So yeah, I only have two Twisbys So this is the 580 diamond and then this one's the eco and they both are rose gold. So that's really cool Love that Okay Last but not the least is this stunning platinum pen. This is my last, I guess, pen purchase in 2023. <sighs> Ending it on such a beautiful note. My goodness. So this is the Platinum 3776 Century Hachimonjiya collaboration. Um, this is Hatsu Yuki, I believe that's how you say it. And I got this in a fine nib. I do have this currently inked right now. Um, I've had this inked since after Christmas, and it was it was full, you guys. And look at that. I've been using this nonstop. That's all the ink that's left in there. So yeah, I've written this one. I've written with this one so 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 much in my personal journal and also in my memory keep journal but this pen is stunning the nib hold on it has the orion constellation i feel like my camera is not doing it justice but also the heart cutout is beautiful it's just oh chef's kiss the colors of this pen is so beautiful so yeah i can't like I just want all my pens to be like this, this vibe, you know, like, come on, <laughs> so pretty. So anyways, I'm so excited about this. My dear friend Elaine actually helped me purchase this, so oh, I'm forever gonna remember her when I look at this, and it just, it just makes me so happy. I love this pen so much, and 
yeah, it still matches my nails. My nails are poly gel, and this is actually my favorite color ever. I will link it below. It's from Amazon. Um, and it's just so funny how it matches the finials of this pen. Like, it's, it's this exact same color. It's so funny. So, anyways, that is it. Oh my gosh, that's my entire pen collection. Oh, I didn't mention, I do have this Jinhao that, um, Eileen sent me, like, I think last year, I want to say. I haven't used it yet. It's just been here, though. I, mean, I think I'm going to try it because it's such a pretty color. But I don't know what um, nib this is. I think that's like a medium. It looks really big. But like, look at this. It's like a marshmallow. It's so pretty. So I forgot all about this. I actually opened this pen case to put these guys in. Like my Lamy and my Ferris Wheel Press. And I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh, I forgot. So this is definitely going to go into my storage because I want to try it out. It looks so good. So yeah, this is just a Jin Hao that she gifted me just for fun. And I'm excited because it's really pretty. So that's that one. And I think that's it. That's everything on my list. Like I keep a I keep a little little list here. It's like by month and like I write down like what I have from that month and stuff in there. So yeah, I think that's my entire collection of fountain pens. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of this oh my goodness i love them i love them all really do they're all such great pens um i am excited to streamline and really just like you know when you look at it it's like yes this is charmaine you know what i mean i am gonna always tell myself from now on like you don't need every single color you just get what you truly love you know so that wraps up this video, you guys. That is my 2023 fountain pen collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this entire video. I know it's super long, but you know, I hope it was somewhat informative and gave you an idea or maybe inspired you to start your own collection. I will have everything listed in the info box down below, so definitely check that out. Also, don't forget to check out my blog sale with all of the things that I'm going to be selling. Um, I have everything from fountain pens to pretty much anything you will need for journaling. I'm doing some decluttering, so everything is on there. Definitely check it out, I'll have it listed. And if you have any other questions, feel free to just send me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment down below. All right, thanks again for being here and I will see you all soon in my next one, bye.